Hi, I'm Marilyn Michaels, not Marilyn Monroe, and I want you to stay with us because Profiles is coming up any minute. It would be great. Welcome to Profiles, I'm Marley Hall. Today's guest is Marilyn Michaels, America's premier woman of a thousand faces and voices. She is the gal who does all the famous impressions of Bette Midler, Dolly Parton, Barbara Streisand, Madonna, and many others. Her character portrayals have been seen on hundreds of TV shows and in just about every major showroom in America. After a short break, we'll join our host, Mickey Burns, as he welcomes the talented Marilyn Michaels to Profiles. Welcome back to Profiles. Back in the 70s, Marilyn Michaels and a team of comedy impressionists brought their talents to ABC on the Emmy-winning TV series, The Copycats. Later, Marilyn would bring her talents to The Great White Way, starring in Catskills on Broadway, earning her an Outer Critics Circle Award and a Drama League Award. So let's join our host, Mickey Burns, on location from the Hotel Wales on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, as he welcomes the versatile Marilyn Michaels to Profiles. I can be funny, and more than that, I can be smart. In Wonderland, I'll find a way to make my life a work of art. In Wonderland. Marilyn Michaels, welcome to Profiles. It's Thank an you. honor meeting you. Honor? It is. That's big. <laughs> because for our viewers, you're an actress, a singer, but most importantly, in, in my opinion, you're an iconic impressionist. Iconic. And iconic. Here we go again. <laughs> Thank you very much. And, and I wasn't aware of some things about you, but the first thing I, I, that surprised me was that you began performing at four years old. Well, yeah, because I came from a, a theatrical family, and my father was... Uh, singing with the Metropolitan Opera. I was like the brat. That was you? Yeah, I would hang around at the Metropolitan Opera. Uh, and I would hang around at the Yiddish Theater where my mother, Fredela, on Oshur, Second Avenue. On Second Avenue. Right. And I was a huge star. And my uncle, Moisha, a great legendary cantor. So yeah, I would go from yeah, Second yeah. Avenue to the Metropolitan Opera. Right. And that was, that was my life. Now, like many aspiring performers, mm -hmm. like you were uh, uh, back then, yeah. uh, you honed your skills in the Catskills. This was wonderful. I mean, we'd, we'd go to uh, the Concord Hotel or Grow Singers. You've sure. been there. Been there. I touched your knee. I like that. I've been wanting to do that <laughs> all day. Um, <laughs> But, uh, we, yeah, I would go and do a show, then I'd do two shows, then they'd do three shows a right. night. My parents didn't let me do three shows a night. I would do two. Two. Yeah. Were, were, they, were they tough audiences? No, for me, they were great. Because if you came up and you were talented mm -hmm. and you were young, they rooted for you. And, and were you like a so it was a song and dance back then at the beginning of yeah, the Yeah, the way it started out, they would have a dance team. Okay. Was it like dirty dancing a little bit? Yes, it was. Only I didn't do the sex. <laughs> that came later. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, it was uh, a, a dance, dance team, a singer, and a comic. Right. And then what happened, and, and they said, oh, you really made it now. I said, how do you know? They said, because you're not in the singer's position. You're oh. in the comics position, so I'd be singing and doing comedy, and, that's, and then they, that was it. I, I, do, I do want to mention to our viewers, you're considered by critics to be among America's greatest woman impressionists. Uh, that's and, very nice. and, and my question was, at what point during your career did you realize, hey, I have a special talent for impressions? I was 14 years old. Were you? Yeah. <laughs> and I would just do these characters. I would, I would do them around the house. I would just break into, uh, you know, I, I, Teresa Brewer, Patty Page, you know, I, I was waltzing with my darling to the day. Remember? Yo, I remember. Who's sorry now? Connie Francis. Who's sorry now? And then I would do that, you know, I'd do Sarah Vaughn and yeah. tonight we are <laughs> And that's how it started. Yeah. As great as, uh, of an impressionist that you are, why didn't you go to Vegas 
in your career and, and work in a, and work in one of the rooms for many years. But I did. Did you did you have yes. one room that you worked in consistently? Well, yes, I did. <laughs> I went to Vegas and I did two shows a night for a whole month. You did. Yes, with until I just they wanted to carry me out <laughs> because there were no days off. When I started, there was no union. There were no days off. No. You did shows every night, two a night. And the first person I worked with was Phil Silvers. And then I worked with Don Rickles, and most of it uh, was with Don. How and great was that? It wasn't that good. It, it was <laughs> Really? What, it, it just, <laughs> I worked with Jackie Mason, also, I didn't like it. <laughs> and you're doing this every night, I mean. Every night, yeah, at two shows He'd, he'd wear you out, just yeah. having to the watch Riviera, that Yeah, the Riviera, the Sahara, start at the Sahara. The Riviera, the um, uh, where Caesar's the, Palace. Where the, thank you. You're reading my mind. Yes. Did That's you like? That's very good. <laughs> thank you, Doctor. Do you Ruth. know something? But if you read somebody's mind, yes, it helps your sex life, right? <laughs> <laughs> because then they don't have to say, "Touch me here," a little faster, a little slower. It does not. You know exactly what they want. It's terrific. <laughs> 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 Did you like Vegas? Um, I loved Las Vegas, Mickey. When I started out, I would go with Phil, and we'd go around, we'd see Eddie Fisher's show. We'd yeah, pop into place. the other yeah, shows, and yeah. that was such a, th a thrill. Or there'd be a party. Yeah. Um, Barbara Streisand would be having a New Year's party, and everybody showed up. Yeah, and this was wow. before she did the film of Funny Girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she knew I was doing an impression of her, and she had done Funny Girl, and I did the National Company. Yeah, so she yeah. said, uh, I hear you do me. And, <laughs> you know, uh, I said, oh, yeah, I'm so excited to meet you. She said, yeah, fine. <laughs> and, yeah, right. And then uh, Don would have parties, and those parties were unbelievable because all the comics I just, yeah. they're all on. They, then, Bob yeah. Newhart, I remember. Right. He was the right. first one who said to me, and I thank him, he said, you know, you're really good with the audience. Yeah. Why don't you talk before you sing and, and uh, <laughs> in, ingratiate yourself. Bring them into you before you just get out there and sing like a girl's finger. Yeah. I listened to him. Did you? Yeah, I got really good, a lot of good uh, suggestions, like from Jack Benny. What's the best advice he gave you? He said... Uh, Always tell them who you're doing. Uh, don't just do an oh, impression. Don't assume they're going to know who don't you're doing. Don't assume that they know. Really? Because what happens is invariably you, you do an impression. Yeah. And you do, oh, Barbara Streisand, happy days are here again. <laughs> and then like five minutes later you hear, do Barbara Streisand. <laughs> 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 You know, say, oh, sure, you're so great. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, Heidi Abraham, she's so stupid. She had to study for a pop test. Ah. <laughs> Do Joan Rivers. <laughs> <laughs> so, Diane cool. Keaton is like, yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> Just goes wild. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of fun. D did you not, somebody said to me, did you not pose for Playboy at one point? Mm. Was that like in the 80s you posed? And did six different characters. My question yeah. is, was 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 it in the nude? Uh, let's put it this way. <laughs> yes. Melissa, what do you think? Oh, I don't know, ma'am. <laughs> uh, you know, Melissa was made from flesh I had removed. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> what was the question, darling? Just to, uh, having a senior oh, the Playboy. The Playboy. What what it was is that Peter Sellers had done. Um, a, a pictorial for Playboy, okay. where he did Napoleon and um, oh, a oh, famous you know Toulouse yeah, Lautrec, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he did a, and then I said, gee, wouldn't it be great if I did some historical women, you know, or or famous? They then they yeah. wanted me to do famous women. They mm -hmm. said, yeah, why don't you do Bo Derek? This is like yeah, well, we're going back to 1982 yeah, when yeah. these were hello. Yeah, right, right. They were up! <laughs> so, so I did. You did? I did Bo Derek and I did. did um, Bette Midler? The little girl, Bette Midler. And what they did is with the nudity, they gave me three gorgeous girls. These oh. girls were so gorgeous and they put them behind me. 
right. nude so right. that I really didn't have to do it. Oh, and okay. So I'm starting to feel like Liza. <laughs> <laughs> I did want to mention that another thing our viewers would be interested to learn about you is that you're also an accomplished artist. And Excellent. that's why I moved over here, because yeah. I want to get ready for, for one piece of art. I only brought one. That, and your art has been in some of the top galleries around the country. Yes. So we want to make that clear. Yeah. Uh, Robert, why don't you bring it over here and we'll look at this. Here, why don't you explain, put it right there against the chair. Yes. How, how long did uh, this portrait of Liz uh, take you? Uh, I mean, of course, along with millions of people, a great fan of Elizabeth Taylor, a great icon mm -hmm. for so many reasons. Yeah. But uh, it was uh, uh, leading up to a, a, gallery, a, a gallery exhibit in, in New Jersey at the uh, Heritage, Jewish Heritage Museum. Mm -hmm. a, mm -hmm. And a friend of mine who is an art dealer, Irving Simons in California, said, drop everything into Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah. And I just felt that the Cleopatra was the most evocative uh, moment with Taylor and I yeah. had to use tiny brushes because usually my works which I hope you'll come over and, and take a look. We, we want to do that. Yeah they're much freer than this and much more impressionistic mm -hmm. or expressionistic mm -hmm. than this particular work. It obviously shows your affection for her Yes. and I think you absolutely captured her beauty in this painting. Yes. Congratulations. 